Quite some time ago, a friend of mine asked me, what would I do if I had X number of dollars to invest? We're talking about back in the early 1980s, say before 1985. He had some money to invest or he could actually get some because he had been matched by his company, the company he worked for in his um, retirement savings. I told him at that time that um, it probably would be best to take the money and buy gold. And he indicated he had a certain amount of money. It was quite a lot of money at that time and uh, because it had been matched, but they were going to penalize him greatly if he withdrew it early. Uh, he could have probably gotten his hands on about $50,000, though, at that time from his savings. And I told him to put it in gold. Well, he did not, and uh, he actually didn't know that I knew anything along these lines, and um, I didn't either except from what I read. Uh, if he had done that, he would have been much better off. He actually waited to buy gold until gold started going up above 600 an ounce, and then he started buying it like crazy, and it seems a lot of people are doing that now, and... Um, this seems to be some sort of a cycle that we're going through and it can't be indicated uh, any uh, more greatly that this is a removal of gold from circulation and it has happened here before and it happens here quite regularly now once all this gold uh, is artificially inflated then people begin pulling out their gold thinking that they're actually going to make some money on this stuff they've been hoarding and saving all these years their broken gold there old rings, their deceased uh, parents and other relatives, uh, heirlooms, and they sell them off and they get their cash, never realizing that the cash is worth much less than it was um, when the gold was purchased initially at whatever, $32 an ounce, some of it, $100 an ounce, $300 an ounce, whatever. Um, the, the ratio of the dollar value to the ounce of gold was greater. So it's a losing proposition to sell your gold in the first place, um, which is why it's being artificially inflated to make you believe that actually you can make some money off of it. Once all the gold has gotten out of circulation that way, then the government generally comes along and restricts gold so that it's illegal to. They invent some war somewhere and um, they have to have the gold for something. And these plans are already in the works. The numismatic news that... Uh, I subscribe to is already talking about laws that the government people are thinking about making to restrict ownership of gold and they do this over and over again um, the gold has been illegal in this country once at least and maybe twice maybe even more um, only when they artificially inflate the price of gold uh, above and beyond what it always has been or what the normal is worldwide do they allow the people to own it again and that's so that the big fat cats can rake off a bunch more profit um, and they are just disillusioned as everyone else because they are playing this pennies game this bean counting game and um, thinking that they're making some money off it but basically what they're doing is debasing their currency across the board